sixth race of the Reebok Cup Series Season 3 is also the first race of the chase at Chicagoland, the Under Armour Cup Series 500. Here today, in the first four spots, we have current chasers. Starting fifth is the 56. He's had a pretty tough year, just the opposite of the five of Casey Kane. He's had a great year so far. The 14 of Tony Stewart just snuck in, while drivers like the 22 and 99 just narrowly missed out. Three races, seven drivers. Who's going to take home the Reebok Cup Series Season 3 Championship? On row 1, we have the 16 of Greg Biffle and the 18 car of Kyle Busch. Starting off in row 2, we have the 2 car of Brad Keselowski and the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. Rolling off the field in row 3, we have the 56 of Martin Truex Jr. and the 5 car of Casey Kane. In row 4 is the 9 of Marcus Ambrose and the 15 of Clint Boyer. Starting off the field today in row 5, we have the 14 of Tony Stewart and the 24 car of Jeff Gordon. Starting in row 6, we have the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson and the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Rolling off the field in row 7, we have the 39 of Ron Newman and the 22 of Joey Logano. In row 8, we have the 99 of Carl Edwards and the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Rolling off today in row 9, we have the 20 of Matt Kenseth and the 43 of Eric Almarola. In row 10 today, we have the 10 car of Danica Patrick and the 42 of Juan Pablo Montoya. And rounding out the field today, in row 11, we have the 1 car of Jamie McMurray. The field's coming off of turn 4. We're green flag racing here in Chicago. The field stays 2 by 2 as Kislowski now pulls to the inside. Contact! And Kislowski takes the lead. Truex is going to look for second. Kyle Busch gets loose again there. Here comes Marcus Ambrose on the inside, but Kyle Busch is going to hold off second. Brad Kislowski leads the lap, and lap 3 is underway. Kyle Busch is closing the gap on Brad Keselowski. Does he? And he makes the move on Keselowski and takes the lead here on lap four. Can Keselowski get around him on the outside? Truex here moving up through the field. He's having a good day today. Lap five is now underway here. As Kyle Busch is taking the lead, Martin Truex Jr. has moved into second. Kyle Busch now with four laps to go. Has the lead. And we've got a spin. It's the 15 of Clint Boyer going around. Here's another look on board with Stenhouse. Looks like he just gets loose and spins out there. And we're back underway now with three laps to go. Can Kozlowski get around the 18 as Truex gets a great jump on the outside? Kozlowski's now going to try to go three wide. Truex is loosened into the wall. That's going to give Denny Hamlin a run under Kyle Busch for second now. White flag in the air. Can Hamlin get to the back bumper of Kozlowski? Coming off a of turn four. Brad Kozlowski's going to win the Under Armour Cup Series 500 at Chicago. Brad Keselowski holds off Denny Hamlin for his first victory of the season, coming in the sixth race, and LJ Mills gets the victory. Alan Cavagnaro second. He was the points leader coming in. Garrett Sinner finishes third. The rookie Sterling Lynch fourth. Keenan Street five fifth. He's been very consistent this year. Nick Corrin finishes sixth. He's had a bad season, but it looks to pick it up. Matt Damon seventh. Jason Tross eighth. Just stuck into the chase. Two more guys have had struggling seasons, or four more actually. The 20 of Sidner, the 39 of Matthew Fuller, the 48 of Derek Manasse, and the 24 of Ian Dutta. And uh, the standings are, have LJ Mills in the new points leader by one point over Alan Cavanaugh, who has a two-point advantage over Sterling Lynch. Keenan Street 5 and Garrett Sidner are tied for fourth. Matt Damon is sixth, and Jason Trost is seventh with two races to go. We have a three-way tie for eighth between the 39 of Matthew Fuller, the 48 of Derek Manasse, and the 99 of Mark Cavagnaro with two races to go. Last week's winner, Johnny Mills, is 11th in points, just three points behind them. And deep in the field, these guys are having tough seasons so far, like the Toyotas of Ralph Sidner and Austin Nathan, the Ford of NASCAR Stop Motion, the Chevrolet of Donna Cavagnaro and Matt Benass, and the two Ganassi cars. Will they do better next week at Talladega?